So a lot of people always ask me, Newt, how do you get your aim so well? And well, how do you transfer it to different games? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I aim like this. So sus. Love to see it. I'm dead. There's three people in here. Yeah. And how I aim like this. What's going on everybody? You already know who it is. It is your boy, the dry nude here. And in today's video, like I said, we're gonna be talking about how to get aim well on mouse and keyboard and how to transfer your sensitivity to different games. And I shouldn't say transfer your sensitivity because each game is different. More learning mouse control is the biggest thing. And I know a lot of you are wondering, well, what aim trainer do you use? You train your aim and guys, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, I really don't change my aim or I don't train my aim, I should say. I find aim training very, very boring and it's something that you need to recognize how to properly train your aim. And sometimes aim trainers might be for you. For me, it's not because I can't focus when I aim train. I just find myself, okay, I'm shooting the stale target and I know that it might help for some people, for me, I can't stay focused past like 10, 20 minutes of aim training. And I feel like I wasted my time where in game, I feel like I could be training my aim way better. Now, that's not to say that aim training is wrong or it is not the right method to get better at aim. I'm just saying for some people, and I am included in that, where I just, I don't train my aim and aim trainers because it is boring. It is something that I just, like I said, I can't stay focused, but what I can stay focused is, is practicing my aim in game. Now in battle royales, it's very difficult to do that. And there really isn't a call of duty that has a uh, slow time to kill like uh Warzone, right? If you have someone going up against 250, 300 health and you're, you're shooting somebody with just at 100 health, they fall over. It's really easy to uh, kill people in um, multiplayer, right? It's really easy to, to track targets, to flick on targets in multiplayer, but that's not, you know, what we're here for. We're here to get better at your aim. So basically, I've been playing a ton of Blood Hunt recently, and that game, I'm going to tell you, is going to train your aim like no other, okay? Because... You have movement, you have vertical, you have flicks, you have tracking. It's just something that has everything incorporated with really good movement. But I know a lot of you guys play Warzone, and I'm going to tell you right now, playing Warzone, you're going to have trouble going up against uh, controller players because aim assist is just that strong and uh, just that OP, and you're just you know, going to lose a lot of gunfights. But if you're stubborn like me, you can actually just go through and practice your aim practice you know just tracking targets getting better you might die a couple of times and it'll take you this method guys will take you a lot longer than if you were to actually just aim train right but i find myself like i said doing way better not aim training and a lot of good uh aimers out there they don't aim train either even some top pros they don't aim train they train in game they either like CSGO, they warm up in a death match, right? 
and even though that's a tactical shooter it helps you out a lot more because at the end of the day you are training your aim and you're also training your movement and you're also training your decision making so you can't really just isolate that one thing to become a uh better player right you can't just isolate i'm just going to have good aim and that's going to carry me through well that's only going to carry you so far someone that has mediocre aim and mediocre movement might you know just poop on you if you have just high high tier aim because that person has more capabilities of more weapons at their disposal i should say so that is one thing that i want to make very clear when you're going in and you're practicing your aim in a game go through and you're going to try and um practice on your movement sorry i got the sniffles like allergies is just going off man but you have to go through and you have to practice movement for call of duty or uh blood hunt or whatever game for apex you got to practice movement you have to practice decision making when to back off when to fight when to push you know just stuff like that you got yourself in a situation how do you get out of it right how do you utilize cover this is all these things that go into becoming a top tier aimer where you just can't isolate oh i want to have good aim if you take someone like Shroud, who just is absolutely nutty at aiming, but he's absolutely nutty at movement and absolutely disgusting at decision making. So those three things combined will make you a better overall player, right? So that is one thing that I want to say. When you're going into game and you're practicing, how do you practice it? You're going in, you're trying to isolate. Today, I'm gonna work on aim. Tomorrow, I'm gonna work on movement. And then the next day I'm gonna work on like decision making, playing smarter. Do that every day, and you're gonna be a better overall player. You may not have the best aim, but you may have disgusting decision decision making and disgusting movement, right? And that's gonna help you overall become a better player. So you gotta isolate and target what you are struggling most with. Most of you guys have pretty decent aim, but suck at decision making. Stuck or suck at your um crosshair placement there's all these little things that go into becoming a better fps player on the mouse and keyboard that you have to look at and you have to isolate what is wrong with me as a player is it my aim is it my decision making is it my um movement all those things are going to make you a better player you have to isolate them and it's something that's different for each and every one of you guys and someone needs to hear this stop aim training Go into game, your aim is good. Your aim is far above everybody else. But there's another thing about aim trainers that I really don't like, and that is when you are static, you're static, you're not moving. It's really easy to transition from, oh, I'm gonna stay not moving, shoot, uh, I don't know, six targets on the wall or whatever you're trying to do. Your tracking's got tier, but you're not moving. In a practical situation, you're going to be moving. You're going to be making decisions. That's why when you're aim training and then you try to transfer it over to your game, you are actually hindering yourself because it is not helping you in any way because end game is different than aim training. Becoming a better player overall is those three skills, movement, decision-making, aiming. Combine those three into one and you are going to be a top tier player. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. How do you like the webcam coming back, man? Look at the look at the dreads, guys. Look at the look at the dreads. They are they're growing since last time you guys saw me. So guys, stay blessed, stay humble. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to drop that subscribe. If you made it this far, be sure to drop that like. It really helps me out in the algorithm. On the road to 20k subscribers, I can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support. Stay blessed, stay humble, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.